Hey there Titans! In this video I'll show you how to auto size your embedded form um, wherever you embed it into. So let's uh, do a simple test with uh, Visual Force and Salesforce. We'll embed it into a Visual Force. And let me show you what I have here in the form. Very simple. I have one text box and two um, address uh, elements on the form. And what I've done here on the text box, I set a condition that if the um, text box contains the letter A, then I'm going to hide the first address and second address. All right, so let's see how this works. So I have my form very nice. I put the letter A and both of my uh, address elements disappear. All right, now let's go ahead and embed it in Salesforce. So let's grab the, let's embed an iframe and I'll head over to my Salesforce and create a new Visual Force page. I'm not passing any parameters, I'm just going to show you how uh, the embed looks like. Okay, so let's, I'll leave everything in here. I'm just going to throw the iframe over here and let's give it a name. The auto resize. And I'll save this and let's preview. So you can see I have the congratulation. This is my, this is your new page. And if I do this, you will see that the, the iframe didn't resize. Everything here stayed the same and the uh, congratulations didn't move up. Um, let's add some stuff here just so we can see it clearer. So let's do a div and we'll put in some text. Close the div. So let's say you have the iframe and then you have content underneath it, a bunch of very important content. And I'll quick save this, I'll head over and refresh. And I see my sum text over here. And if I'll make it smaller, you can see that the sum text didn't move up since the iframe size stayed the same. Now let's see how we can uh, get this dynamically resized. So I'll head over to my form builder and I'll, I'll click publish again and you'll see that you have auto sizing option right there and it's grayed out in order for this to happen what we need to do is head over to our form settings and select the limits so usually you will see it like this and then you'll click view more select limits and we'll click the post message I'll hit configure and I'll select the post form size changes and allow domains. This is not the best practice, but in this instance, I'm just going to put a star in here to allow all domains. Um, usually you would want to put the domain that you're posting to. So wherever you embed it, this is where it should be. I'll hit apply and we'll head over again to publish. And now you see that the auto sizing option is uh, clickable. I'm just going to copy everything here head over to my visual force get rid of my previous iframe and paste everything whatever I got from here I just didn't choose the iframe so let's select the iframe instead of the script so again auto sizing iframe I'm gonna grab everything in here and I'll get rid of this and paste it in here so you can do the same with the script. It works exactly the same. So if you head over to embed, this is just two scripts, auto sizing, it will do the exact same thing as an iframe. All right, let's save this. I'll hit quick save and I'll refresh and let's watch this. And you can see immediately that the size of the, of the iframe changed. So now, everything is dynamic. So once the iframe size changes, then all your text, your very important text or whatever tags you have underneath the iframe will, um, will automatically go up or down. Whatever happens with the iframe will let the container knows to change the, will let the container know to change the height or width of your form. And this is how it's done.